Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Adda Derana Education, the English Council. And I hear the sound of bells everywhere. Not the putting on Christmas season, you're going to make anything. This is the most favorite time of the year for me because you have the decorations everywhere and it's a different vibe altogether. So, we are talking about everything we cover during. The 46 weeks of phase two, uh, it was about vocabulary mainly because under phase one, you had grammar and you had uh, some grammar covered by a uh, Rebecca teacher. And then we started phase two and in phase two, we had vocabulary, we had conversations, we had idioms, we had a lot of things around vocabulary. Before starting phase three, I thought we'd better talk about or we better revise and see what we covered in phase two because it's been a year uh, so it's been a year and uh, yeah it's uh, like without revision we would like know where we need to again like um, revise or where we have like missed some things we won't know uh, so, uh, let's revise and summarize what we have done so far and then we can start year 2024 with phase, twen phase 3 and uh, it's going to, yeah, let's not talk about it now but uh, let's see what it is later. So, uh, this week we were talking about food, eating out and then mini conversations that was from week uh, 13 to week 17, week 13 to week 17 because week 1 to 12 we covered it in week 47 and week 48, today is week 49 but we are going to see what we had in week 15. So week 15 was phasing interviews, I, I know most of you, uh, like this was a question sent by you to like talk about some questions uh, the interviewers ask during interviews which is a very valid question I would say and uh, yes we were talking about 10 interview questions and model answers that you can give and why this answer why that answer we were talking about that as well and also I gave some um, other tips as well how your body should be when you are facing an interview, how you should sit, how you should walk. We, we were talking about these things as well. And yes, facing interviews, the questions I took. So I'm going to talk about a few questions here. And uh, tell me about yourself is one of those very common questions at the interviews. So tell me about yourself, what you need to talk about. Look at the screen. Uh, so you can start with your name where you are from, education in sort, job experience, if any, family details in short. So this is one of those basic answers that you can give to the question, tell me about yourself, right? And then I had a sample answer. I'm Rukshi Panditratna, I live in Vatal. I have completed my bachelor's degree in physical science. I worked for MS of Anya as an HR executive. My husband is working in the apparel industry and my daughter is schooling. This is a very basic way to give an answer to tell me about yourself but uh, I was talking about an advanced answer as well especially if you look at the screen okay look at the screen here as you can see job experience now I'm not telling that much about my job experience but if you are like facing an interview don't just settle for a basic introduction of yourself. So I was stressing on this point a lot. Of course, this is a very simple sample answer, but this is this shouldn't be the exact answer that you give at the interview. You have to build on this answer. Tell me about yourself, especially when you are talking about job experience of yours. I was telling you, or I was teaching you how you should match the keywords on the advert to the, to the experience you already have, the, uh, the characteristics or the personality type you have, how you are going to link it 
with the advert we were discussing this in detail this is just a sample answer so if you go to that lesson if you watch that lesson you will learn a very detailed self description that you need to give at any interview if it is uh, let's say if it is for a promotion or if it is for a higher position that you have applied for right so uh, this is just a basic one we made a welcome up in detail Katagra and then I had the question what are your weaknesses these are like what are your strengths what are your weaknesses these are some of the questions that we get stuck at interviews so I was talking about Lissala gehilla shape ke koma the weakness can buy an at work confidently katakara ne koma the kene gana katakara so I'm going to show you api mei deva tamai katakare hari so uh, when they ask you the question what are your weaknesses people get stuck because people think oh if I talk about my weaknesses at the interview they won't give me the job right they wouldn't even consider kela hitana kiyana wane and then maghe durrala kaan ki uwa tara manu se mara dena rasa wad dene kaan hai kila hini hitana wane anne himi saadharana hai right it's it's really like uh, it's all oh, it's okay to think like that hai bai meka ehima kila ogolun te kiyanda beha oh i don't have any weaknesses that shows that you are not aware about yourself etan in penna ne oya oya ge oya gana oya danne ne hai kila in a weaknesses in a hank in utre de nipa because all of us have weaknesses right so you need to prepare yourself to talk about your weaknesses it's a good among here the tips to cut do not weaknesses can cut a kind of mona the select around on a kill look at the screen pick a weakness that will not prevent you from succeeding in the role right for example let's say you have applied for a position as okay let's say you want you have applied for the position of a teacher a monster teacher monster teacher hari monster teacher kene kene aurudu deke tune hatare pahe babala teka weda karana position eka and you are at the interview seated nicely very confidently gave your answer for the self description and talk, were talking about was talking about your strengths and all and then they ask you the weakness and now you want to be really honest and you say oh i really have i i i'm i'm actually um i don't have patience with kids then me mondasuri teacher kenek thama interview ekak eena weakness ekak kiyana matta podi lamai ekka weda karada iwasanna beha i'm not really good with kids ehema natha podi ayath ekka mata me podak iwasima i don't have patience what iwasima na then me him a kiwa ta pase rassa wa hamba ida it was ogolo kena oh, i was really honest at the interview balanda ko mata rassa wa duna i told them that i don't have patience with kids and i'm not good with kids ehema kiwa wa mata rassa wa ite rassa wa denne ne ne mokada eka ehema ehema kenek ko gattata pase iwa sima nathi teacher kenek ko gattata pase kohonda lamai wa bara denne so you need to be cunning here as well you need to be honest but also you need to choose a weakness which will not really affect your position that's what i'm telling right so be honest and choose a real weakness mokada real weakness ekak thora gatta natha maha boruwa kiyala ilangata ah kata patale na idipasa mataka na kiwa boruwa mokadda kiyala right and then we were talking about how uh, the weakness what you need to do how you have worked to improve this weakness right improve and how you converted it to a learning කියන එක ගැන කතා කරන්න කියලා මම කිව්වා weakness එකක් තියෙනවා true it should be real number 2 and how you have like worked on it කියන එක ගැන කතා කරන්න මම කොහොමද මේක ගැන මේ දුර්වලකම ගැන එකට දුර්වලකමට වැඩ කරලා මේ දුර්වලකම හොඳ කරගත්ත කියන එක ගැන කතා කරන්න so i'll show you an example part part example එකක් බලන්න I find public speaking intimidating and have often struggled with presentations. As a result, I joined the Toastmasters club. Now I'm learning the techniques to be used when speaking in public. Let's say public speaking is a skill that will not like affect my job really directly, but indirectly of course public speaking everyone needs, right? So I say okay, I'm I'm not really good at public speaking. okay i don't have the confidence to do public speaking i'm not very confident to get up on stage and to do the speaking right so um i what i did was i joined toastmasters 
and practiced public speaking skills. Now I'm getting better at it and I have learned few techniques to, uh, to uh, be used when I'm speaking in public. It's a nice way of crafting your answer. So I wanted to take this answer particularly because this is a very sensitive point. Interviewees face when they're at interviews, right? So this is, this is one of the this is one of those points. The interviewer will check you for your uh, honesty and also your uh, certain qualities, right? Then uh, yes, then we had idioms part two in week sixteen. Yes, so idioms uh, we had idioms part one where we covered. 25 most useful idioms in the English language uh, and I was telling I was talking about how important it is to learn these active idioms most common 25 idioms kila kiwi monkey active idioms again in itara nitara apita pavichar ganna pula active idioms passive idioms neme meva kochchara vedaga digana ganna eka kiyana eka gana api katha kara then I picked uh, Another 25 idioms, uh, a few other idioms as well, to again active idioms that you can use in your conversations to show how fluent you are. Let's talk about these idioms and let's see what idioms we had after this break. <laughs> Welcome after the break and you are with Adha Dharana Education, the English Council and we were talking about facing interviews before the break. Actually, when we were doing the lesson, uh, that was the 14th, uh, 15th week facing interviews, uh, 75th lesson, uh, we were talking about how you should uh, walk, sit, how you should use your gestures, body language at interviews. And then we had 10 odd questions that uh, some common questions that are being asked at interviews. And then I gave some sample answers to those questions as well. Here we took only two questions. Uh, one most common question that is tell me about yourself. And then the second question was what are your weaknesses where most of us get stuck when we are answering so i gave some tips to answer this question what are your weaknesses so um if you missed those missed that lesson or if you have an interview coming up you can uh visit our youtube channel other than education and on english council phase two you have uh all the lessons lined up for you uh, it's like very organized and it was the lesson 75 if I'm not mistaken because it's the 15th uh, week so you can watch the lesson and learn from it right okay so then week 16 was about idioms so this time we were not talking about idioms like not I didn't give you like idioms um, straight away but we had idioms we learned idioms in content in uh, topics not context but in topics so we were talking about some home idioms where uh, you, uh, which you can use when you are talking about your home right so there is no place like home that this was the first idiom I took so we had the meaning and we had a uh, few ways of uh, using these idioms in conversation. So there is no place like home. One feels most comfortable at home. So if someone asks you the question, what is your favorite place to like be? I would say it's my home. It's my home. Why is that? There is no place like home. There is no place like home. 
I feel very comfortable when I'm at home. So there is no place like home. It's a beautiful way of saying home is the best place for me. And then we had, we were like, so for home mediums, we had some, uh, we had five idioms for each category. We had five home mediums and after that we had money idioms, we had five money idioms. So likewise, we had 25 idioms under different topics. So uh, these topics are very like close to us. And um, again, I'm trying to make it very active so that you can use these idioms in, our, in your conversations and use it, practice, and then you'll feel the idiom and it'll stay with you forever. Right, okay. And then we had many idioms. I've only like taken one here, but we had a lot, you had a lot when we were covering the lesson. So please go back to the lesson. If you like missed it, just watch the lessons and learn from it, okay? Save for a rainy day, it's very important. Save for a rainy day, can I say that was to save him a name, but like meaning is close to that. But save for a rainy day, can you need to save for emergencies? You need to save some money and keep it for like emergencies, right? So I should have, I should save some from my bonus for a rainy day. I should save. Some from my bonus for a rainy day, not for a rainy day particularly, right? But for the day I need it. There can be like emergencies in life. So I should save some money for a rainy day. And then we had a topic animal idioms. So he has ants in his pants sometimes. Uh, people ask me, do you have ants in your pants? You can say, Puta, do you have ants in your pants? So right? Do you have ants in your pants? Not only kids. You can ask an adult, or do you have ants in your pants? You're acting like you're having ants in your pants. And then we had catnap. Oh, I'm just, I just had a catnap. Catnap, what is it? They just uh, have a short sleep during the day. So that's why we call these short uh, naps, cat naps, right? I just had a cat nap during the day. We just have a short sleep, right? And then we had body idioms. And yes, something makes my blood boil. So sometimes... When I see certain people talking um, on TV, it makes my blood boil. So sometimes when you see people on the road, you feel like, oh, this person makes my blood boil. But I mean, okay. So we were talking about these body idioms, not only this, we had some other idioms as well. You can uh, watch our lessons and learn from it. And then we had food idioms. So butter someone up. So this is one of those uh, idioms I love a lot. So right? So you butter someone up. Don't butter me up. 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 You are praising them to get something done. You are buttering someone up. Do you like her? Oh no, she always butters me up. Some people, I, yeah, some people, uh, there's no like particular reason for me to hate them, but I don't like them because I know that whenever they meet me, they just butter me up to get things done. 
So yes, me wagi deva me food idioms sava ti bu nae keke Like cool as a cucumber, hot potato. Me wagi api camelin keen idioms, sattung en keen idioms. It's raining cats and dogs, cat naps, doggy days. O wagi ti bu na eva api kata kara. And then we had the lesson giving directions. It was week 17. It was week 17 giving directions where we practiced the words, the prepositions you need when you are giving directions. We even had few maps and we practiced giving directions. First we had the prepositions of place. We were talking about prepositions of place. Look at the screen. The first one at the corner of at the corner of the road, it is A is at the corner of the road, mulleti enne. B is next to A, A is next to B, next to kila ki ane ha patte. The next to teka tawe na machane ata mai beside, not besides. So beside ki ane ka gana, api kapa akara. Beside and besides ke vena saath mama kiya la do na. Mokad samhaar ve la avachar, ekka ma machane maage tawa ta na ka tehena ko na api machane patta le na machane ka na api nitra ma me lesson zato le kata akara. And then third picture, look at the screen. Uh, we had opposite, A is opposite B. And then we had between, B is between A and C. So his house is at the corner. His house is at the corner. Uh, his house is at the corner. B building is next to A. B building is next to A. Right, B B D ne kati N ne eight eha patting next to, and then the bank is opposite the school. The bank is opposite the school. Bank ne kati N ne iskole viruddha ta patte, and then B building is between A and C. Let's say the bank is between the supermarket and the school. Me wagi apni goda ke kani meka sentences bolta dala apni me vachan ne practice kara lesson ne ka karate. Prepositions because. Prepositions of place, it's very important when you are studying prepositions. Now, what we say is, don't study prepositions alone. Prepositions alone, kila kyan nikang in with it or on with it, at the time, ehema thani, ehema thani in paadaan karna ka hari khardra isa matak hiti ne amari. So, the best thing is, you learn the prepositions in context. So, prepositions of place is one of those places that you can master prepositions of place. It's, a, it's, it's an essential part in English, prepositions of place. I think me atyavashema prepositions tika muling olu ota daga na balan. Ito me muling olu ota daga na then ikang prepositions ka opposite kya ni virudda ta patta. Between kya ni mother, next to kya ni ha patta. Hema meaning na ka lila vachani lila hema paadaan ka la bha. Me ka vaakya ka pahavichi karan. The map peka karagana. Let's say you are giving directions to your place. You want your friend to visit you and you are not sharing your location. Now, uh, you would say, okay, we don't have to give directions because now we have Google uh, locations. We will send the pin and our friend will uh, find my place. But if you use this instance to practice English, it will definitely help you to practice these prepositions of place, right? So take a map, yeah, 2D map, or what you normal map, map, try to practice these words on that map. Next to, between, opposite, at the corner of, all right? Right? Uh, I think uh, you can practice it. I think, yes, when you are listening to, uh, listening to Google auntie, Google auntie, I mean, a lot of English you can learn from her as well. I mean, turn left, turn right, I mean, if you have any directions, then you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that. I think, 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 and I'm a person, I'm like addicted to like learning from whatever the thing I'm getting. And uh, because of that, I've actually fallen in love with learning English. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.